Today I'm unboxing and setting up the Alpha HW615 bandsaw from Harvey Industries. Let's get started. So one thing that's fun about the way that Harvey packages their machinery is it's really easy to unpack. Don't! Well, I say that. Maybe I'll get some scissors. Oh, how awesome is that? It's actually facing the right direction. So it'd be really tempting to just cut all this off from the front side, but I'm cutting from the back side so that way I can hold this main table and some of the other things that are packed here on the back side just in case it wants to try and fall out. Here we go. Whenever you get a new tool, they're just always covered in this really heavy shipping grease, this Cosmoline. Uh, you can use denatured alcohol to clean that off with a bunch of rags, or if you want to get really serious about it, you can use lacquer thinner. Well, the next thing to do is first off, try to not slip a disc while shimmying this thing off of the pallet. So I get these leveler feet installed into the bottom of the bandsaw so that way I can make sure that it's not rocking once I get it set into the mobile base. So I've put bandsaws on mobile bases before and honestly, that was the easiest least stressful installation of a bandsaw on a base I've ever done. The handles that lock the table angle in place come pre-installed on the underside of the table, so you first need to remove those handles before you set the table onto the trunnions. After you get the table in place on the trunnions, there are a couple of bolts to run in, and these are just to capture the table so that it doesn't fall off of the trunnions. You're not actually locking that down to hold the angle. On larger bandsaws like this, where the table is fairly big, the table can be kind of difficult to tilt, so Harvey added a gas spring to help assist that and make it a lot easier. If you saw my unboxing and setup video of my Harvey Alpha Series table saw, you probably noticed that the fence looks pretty similar, and you'd be right. They're using the same style high-low fence setup, and they're both using these UHMW bushings to make the adjustments. It also makes it slide really easy. Changing out the blade on this bandsaw is pretty straightforward. Just remove the throat plate and that lock there on the side of the table, and then you can slide the blade in place. With the blade roughly centered on the wheels, I go ahead and start tensioning it. And the first thing I need to do is raise up the blade guard and I also go ahead and track the blade so that way it's running true on the upper tire. And if you'd like for me to dive into my method for tensioning a bandsaw blade, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do what I can. One thing that's really nice is how they designed the blade guides on this saw. They're not spring loaded, so you're not constantly fighting the adjustment and trying to get it in just the right spot just to have a spring knock it out of place. That was a rough way to end the video, wasn't it? But if you want to see this saw run, you've got to check out my review video. I'm going to have it out in just a few weeks. When it's ready, it'll be right here for you to watch. And if you want to see other tool reviews and unboxings, check out that playlist right there. Until next time, let the sawdust fly and have fun making something.
So the cardboard that they use for the side of these crates is crazy heavy duty. It does not burn very well. Ask me how I know. But it's great if you're into making some stout cardboard cutouts. Just throwing it out there.